Hi everyone, Dr. Ed here from EPS. Last week I made a video introducing the concepts of psychological flexibility and self-care. And today what I wanted to do is review the first three principles that Dr. Coyne and her team uh, discuss in relation to self-care. And it's, I want to point out that these are not supposed to tell you how to engage in self-care. They're more guidelines about how to approach self-care. And so the first principle they talk about is small things matter. And I like this principle because it's related to the idea of a kernel. You think of a kernel that grows into something more meaningful. And as parents, we can start to make small little changes in our behavior uh, that uh, allow us to move towards things that are important to us. So if you think of this, you know, if your value is to become a better parent, that can be an overwhelming concept to become a better parent. And yet I can make small little choices um, that can allow me to live consistent with that overall value. And so, for example, I can decide that when I get home and my child approaches me, I make sure that I put my phone away so that I can engage with my child in a one-to-one -one situation and let them know that I'm listening and that I'm, I'm present. Um, the second concept that they, they talk about is everything interacts. If you think of the family, uh, the family is a, a complex system. There's so many moving parts. And many times, parts of that system are not functioning like we want them to. And as parents, we, we can become overwhelmed when things aren't going well in a certain area or domain. For example, in our relationship with our kids. And so the reason I like this principle of everything interacts is that you can start to make changes in other sections of that system. And they can have, in turn, positive impacts on the rest of the system. So as a parent, if I'm overwhelmed with how things are going uh, with my child's behavior, for example, I can start to focus on my own internal uh, sleep schedule, how I'm eating, uh, small little things that I can control. And the more positive changes I can make in other parts of the system, the better uh, chance I have of improving other areas of the system. And the third principle they talk about is this idea that patterns matter. And I like this one because oftentimes we get stuck on small details and we lose the overall pattern. So in parenting, for example, you know, if you're working towards trying to be a better parent uh, and you lose your temper, if you start to lose yourself on, on detail, you might start to take that, that moment of where you lost your temper, for example. And that can start to um, promote things like intense self-criticism. And you start to believe um, that you're the worst parent. And in so many ways, this, this idea of patterns matter uh, helps us to understand that even though we might have these moments where we're making you know, uh, the wrong choice, we can, we can overall notice a pattern where we're making choices that are consistent with our values. But also, the reverse is also true. Sometimes we don't look at the global pictures and we lose out on noticing the factors that are present when we're more likely to lose our temper, when we're more likely to be uh, unavailable for our kids. And so patterns matter also uh, um, refers to the idea that sometimes it's important for us to take a step back and to start to notice all those variables that might be in place when things don't go like we want them to. So again, first three principles. Uh, uh, and if you're interested in any of these topics, please reach out to us. Or if you have questions or concerns, reach out to us at info at Thank you very much. Take care.